Welcome to Parker Prestige. As you can see behind me, we've just taken it to stock the stunning 2020 Tesla Model 3 long range. So 350 miles with the extended range on this one. Finished in grey metallic. Looks absolutely brilliant. This particular one has been debadged as well, so no Tesla badges on the front or the rear, which I think looks really nice. 18-inch alloy wheels with the aero covers fitted as well. You can remove them if you want to, but all in great condition still. And Michelin's all around the car have brilliant tread as well. So 2020 onwards, went to a black pack, so we've got black surrounds around the windows, black door handles, which you'll notice as well. Ties in quite nicely with the privacy glass, and obviously the panoramic roof as well. Um, great condition all around. Obviously, camera system all around the car, which you'll see when we get in. I'll show you on the screen how that works. We also have parking sensors, front and rear as well. Again, as I mentioned, Tesla badge has been removed from the rear of the car. Which I think looks much cleaner, much nicer. And on the driver's side, wheels, tyres, all good as well. No marks on any doors. We'll jump inside and we'll show you some of the interior. So we'll start with the passenger side, have a look in the back of the car first of all. Black leather is in brilliant condition as you can see. These are heated seats in the back as well, which is nice to have, front and rear heated seats. Um, you'll notice the backs of the front seats are still in good condition as well, they haven't been kicked and scuffed and things. Um, fit with carpet mats included as well. And a quick view in the passenger seat as well before I pop around to the driver's side. Excellent condition all around again. Black leather is in fantastic condition in the front. Down on the door cards, we've got split Alcantara and leather with a contrast stitching, which I think looks really nice. And again, the condition, that's fantastic. We've got Model 3 down on the door sills, as you can see. And you'll notice the front seats are fully electric as well, which I'll show when I get in the driver's side as well. So as you can see, I've jumped in the car, um, in the driver's seat. I just want to give you an idea of the condition in here, but also just touch on some of the spec of the car. Obviously, typical Tesla fashion, it's very minimal in here. Pretty much everything's accessed through that middle screen, which I'll show you in just a second. Key cards, of which is two of them, um, are still in the plastic wallet. You can go in your wallet in your pocket and access the car just using your mobile phone if you prefer. Um, but at the minute, I'm just going to, as I said, show you some of the bits and pieces on the screen. Um, really big screen. This particular one's had a, a matte screen protector fitted as well, so obviously protects the screen, but also um, does cancel out any glare from the screen as well, so works much, much better than just a normal screen. Um, satellite navigation, really easy to use, works fantastically well. Um, directions are brilliant and obviously nice big screen um, very easy to use as I mentioned all your radio and everything through this screen digital radio Bluetooth um, and you've also got likes of your Spotify accounts which you can use on here um, if we go into theatre we've also got things like some Netflix YouTube if you're not driving the car um, which can be watched but yeah as I said all works very very well um, all the settings of the car are in one screen which again works very very well easy to use um, and just touching on the long range as i mentioned this particular one at present is 56 percent um battery life remaining which as you can see if i touch on there 169 miles so genuinely over 300 miles of use um, is very very doable and um, just touch on some of the climate control settings for example we've got dual zone on either side we can decide where the air is coming from change the direction and things like that so really really customizable you can set it up to how you want um, obviously on automatic at the minute as you can see but a lot of options which work really really well so for example our heated seats in the front we go into the rear we've got three stage heated seats on every one of the rear seats as well so really really nice to have there if we just move up you can see panoramic roof which is really nice as well obviously lets a little bit more light into the cabin um, and works really really well but just a few creature comforts as well as you'd expect to have automatic lights automatic wipers you can see on there we do have wireless phone charging as well back to that main sat nav screen so yeah really nice place to be the wood trim i think looks really nice on this one um really nice bit of spec and yeah really easy to use um condition as i mentioned absolutely brilliant still looks like a new car steering wheel still feels like new hasn't gone shiny and uh, yeah just a lovely example i'm just going to give you an example of the camera system around the car as well so we can just bring the system up from um pressing the camera button on the screen but if we pop the car into reverse it's going to show the reverse camera first of all and down at the bottom here we've got a, a view of both sides of the car as well so pedestrians cyclists things like that you can see them very easily again over at the side here we've got a view of anything that's around the car anything that's very close will come into view on here using the sensors if we just move the car back you see how that starts to move in and all these cameras will move obviously live with the car parking sensors will start to work as well i certainly hope so 
There we go. We've even got a display of the distance away, which is quite useful. Gives you a much better idea of where you are. And I'm going to jump out the car in a second. We'll show you some of the um, storage space in the car as well. So we'll open both boots. We've got one in the front and the rear. So we'll start with the rear boot, as you can see. Very, very good space. And just to show you the two cables that we have as well. So your normal charging cable there. And inside the bag, we've got a three pin adapter as well if you do need to use that. Um, move those out the way a second, just to show you the space underneath the floor as well, which is very, very good. Obviously, Tesla first aid kit in there at the minute. And we also have genuine Tesla mud flaps. You do want to fit those. And we'll just pop round to the close of it. Actually, it's an electric boot. We'll pop round to the front of the car. And we've actually a little bit more space as well. So with the two boots combined, very, very usable, very practical car. For any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact us and we'll do our best to help. My name's Ollie and we'll hopefully catch up soon.